out to the Circus Tavern in Fairfleet for an all our yesterday's reminder of greatness between Eric Bristow, five times a world champion, and, and one of his early most deadly adversaries, Alan Evans from the Ronda. Bristow it is for the darts. He won the first set 3-1, and here we go again. Best of five. 85. Yes, it was the old firm. Like Celtic against Rangers, Evan against Bristol was guaranteed to rattle the corpuscles, whatever your nationality. And we just had a bit of wit from the audience who have been singing Land of My Fathers, 46. having drowned us out our earlobes with London pride. And come on, Brissy, sir. Elements of good sportsmanship here. The game being played in good spirit. Evan's trying to slow him down a couple of times. But it'll need more than tactics. It's going to need a bit of oil around the 60. First man to get three sets. Wins. Now that's the shot has been letting him down up to now. That losing the. Well, he's not without his fans here, Sid. As we can see, they've come up for the M4 from the Valleys to support Alan Evans. It's great to see the Welsh flag on big time darts on television because they're such fanatics. If they can just get their men going, remember, we've got Richie Burnett, the new young Prince of Wales, coming up next against Phil Taylor. That's going to top the bill. That's going to be very special. In the meantime, it's the old king, Alan Evans, who is trying to regain 16. the crown of his ability. Yes, a man who's mixed great talent, occasional uh, trouble with authority, and also men's humour. When he was about 20, he won the CIU title. And he knocked out his captain, Jackie Serbel, with a straight right into the chin as he did his Dennis Lowe leap. So he's brought to the game everything. Class, humour, a great talent. 100. <laughs> well, Bristol's on 166, a bogey number here. Remember, he had the darts, but uh, he should leave himself comfortably placed with Evans back on 210, unable to finish next throw. 134. Just seems to have that little bit uh, in his pocket, Sid. Yeah. Well, you've got to give it to Eric since 86. His career blighted by Dartitis. And I said he needed flair. Here it comes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That really has put the pressure on Eric Bristol. Oh. 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 Beginning to start smoking. It was a uh, Ranger Celtic. Oh, when Billy Elliott and Jimmy School was knocking seven right bells out of each other for Sullen and Newcastle. They are Titans. Well, so here's Evans, who lost that leg despite a maximum 180, the first of this match. You have to remember, Sid, won. that uh, Alan Evans also is not exactly in the record books, but he did achieve the impossible. He actually bust a minimum nine darter once in a televised event, and that has never been seen before or since. And, uh, and uh, Boxing Day, I think it was around about 1974, in the Ronda Valley, in his annual, annual Alan Evans exhibition. He finished the game on 150 with three bulls. Try doing that with three pints of frothy ale on a Saturday night down in Lugo. Yes, he was a brilliant exhibition player, Evans, and as we were mentioning earlier, really he, he should have had more titles from the game. He was always there and thereabouts, but just really one World Masters compared to Bristow's record and the record of sub subsequent players. Doesn't really do him justice. Nobody can see one point they pay into professional darts. Panache, him and Alan Glazier started the whole ball rolling in the mid 70s. When he used to cruise around England in a mauve dame lap. 95! Still attracting the big crowds. The place here. Loving it. And if somebody had asked me 18 months ago if Harry could get 100. back to the sort of world winning form, I'd have said no. So there are a few other good judges. But six months ago on this very stage, he showed in his semi final against Taylor that he was back to win in a whisker the best. 100! And when you talk about whiskers and Eric, you're talking about the cat's whiskers. Well, Evans has left himself 165, which is not a 
target with three darts, and Eric can just turn the screw here. Not really. Well, you saw the wire move there. Sixty. You had a better view than anybody in the house. Very require 121. Now, travel 18 would leave the ball. Should still stay on 18s. 53. Alan, you require 105. 105 for Alan Evans to level up this second set. It's the sort of shot he has to get. You, you get to hand, you reckon, handle Eric. 81. Yes, he's dead. Too late. Eric, you require 68. Bristow on 68. He knows his rival is on a double. And now, double 16. 36. Sort of chance he must take them. Alan, you require Babes, you with the idea. The doubles often let him down. Let's see how close that shot was from Bristow. Mm, not far away. Evans, that is a long That's way away. Just half an inch. Double 12. Now he's got three options here. Straight in. Oh, Nine score. See, lost balance completely on the shot. Eric require 32. And Bristow, if he is true to character, will punish that kind of mistake. Well, that's four darts for Eric Bristow to double to win this second leg. Fifteen years ago, you wouldn't have laughed missing one against Evans. Fifteen for Evans. Oh, it's Madhouse. <laughs> Curious way of going. No score. Eric, you require 16. Well, now, four darts he's had at a double to win this second leg. Bristow, that's the fifth. Eight scores. Alan, you require 15. They're not actually applying for their bus passes yet, but they could do with a visit to the opticians, maybe. It's gone that Let's way try again. Double one again. It's an awkward way, Alan. It'll be very flashy if you can get it. 13. Well, we thought he might have made a mistake earlier on, but clearly he wanted to leave himself double eight. one, and that's unusual. And now Bristow has had, what, six, seven darts at a double. That's double four. Jerry over. Jerry Bristow. Yes, Lang watching Jerry Lee Lewis and Chuck Berry on the same stage. The question is who's going to burn the piano?